MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. David Price is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. ball runs away for ball two two and one zero Danny this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon they dropped another one last time out and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries yeah Matty V what we're seeing there is a team D row they're starting to put the gas pedal down right now they're starting to get some length in this division yeah this team's playing well they're playing with confidence you can tell guys are walking to the plate with a swagger their pitchers are taking them out and executing pitches down and away this is a good ball club. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. 91 degrees our first pitch temperature. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. Line drive to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then they cap it off. He drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at bats we'll see all game long. In now, Steven Duggar. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. And don't forget, on a ball thrown out of play, the rule says that the runner gets the base he was running to, plus one more. So in now for San Francisco Hunter Pence and a great chance here for the Giants to add on in just the first inning. A one two pitch and this is cut on and missed by Pence as he set down on strikes for the first down. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him and watching this at bat it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, d Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but he's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. And he fouls this one off. Now the payoff pitch home is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Man at second here with two away. And that brings up Evan Longoria. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Longoria has just recently claimed a big career milestone as he currently stands at exactly 300 career big league home runs. Matty, that's a special. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Giants will have to be content with just the one. 
On now to the bottom of inning number one. Giants out in front here, one to nothing. Logan Webb, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. At the plate, Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Danny Dero, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, Dero, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two. But if they can win today, they split this series and move on. Up with it is Longoria, and that's the first out. Batting second, the shortstop, Corey Seager. Here's Corey Seager swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. The 1-1 one -one home. Taken strike two. One ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Into the box, Mookie Betts. Two and one now to Mookie. Two out, nobody on. Bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. The 3-1. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Two coming now from Price. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Peterson will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting eight. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Bell. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Crawford stands at first with one out. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way.
Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home, and Belt will lay off ball four as he's able to reach on the base on balls. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. The pitcher, Logan Webb, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. There's one, but wisely no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Second base. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. One and one. Here it is. hit hard on the ground towards second and that'll get on through into right field for a base hit and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead now battle the center fielder and now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here At the plate, Steven Duggar in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Swing and a liner. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Giants will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom of the second. The Giants lead it two to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now, Max Muncy. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. To the plate now, Jock Peterson takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in seats. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. 
The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Stepping in now, Zach McKinstry. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Ball two. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Two men are on with two men out. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball right side. And that is into right field, the base hit. This is well up the line, and he's safe at home plane. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, he wrote big, big, and I mean big, to our RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. In now, David Price. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Well, his guys just gifted him with a two out RBI, and now he's got a chance to help himself, too. The set and the two one. This is swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And Longoria will make the catch to retire the side. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Giants two and the Dodgers one. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Hunter Pence digs in to get things started. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. The short hit hard. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The left field Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Yastrzemski. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The count now at two and one. Now here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the play. Two away now. The Stepping the in, team. Evan Longoria. Evan. 0 for 1 for him here Long in this team. one. And Ball treading three. carefully with Longoria here. It's 3 and 1 now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Grounded back up the middle, and this is going to be a base hit for Longoria. Uh, hey, D roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Standing in now, Brandon Crawford. Down low, two balls and a strike. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two.
around the stretch. Liner towards second, but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Giants leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Here now, the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So now to the plate, Corey Seeger. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Back goes Yastrzemski. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Rounded weakly to the left. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They still trail it here, two to one. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Buster Posey. Now the 2-1. Line to the right side and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard. As we take a look at the pitch count you can see that it's not that high but you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit the weather can be the great equalizer especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. At the plate, Brandon Belt down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. The 3-2 now from Price. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. And this one is gone. A home run. A two-run home run for the guy they call the baby giraffe, Brandon Belt. Number 14 on the season as the Giants have opened it up now to 4-1. to one. This is just one of those parks where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Blake now Logan Webb no offer on that one two balls and a strike well it's been a rough one so far four runs through three innings it's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long four runs five hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point 
swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Here now the 2 2. Slow roller down the third baseline. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batting the second baseman, Wilmer Flora. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And set to go is the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Nobody out, runner on first. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Right to him. To second for one. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. Now that Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper, turns into a tailor made 4 6 3 double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Steven Duggar. The 3 2 pitch. Line drive, base hit to right. Around first, digging for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's 2-1. and one. Two and two. Here now the two two. Ground ball left side. Throw on to Muncie gets him and with that they'll end the inning. Bye bye baby the Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two run dinger. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4 1 San Francisco. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 1 home is looked at for ball three. Misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Now batting. The first baseman. Max. Next for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. as he reaches to foul this one away. He'll try again, one, two. To third. Oh, and Longoria can't handle it. Throw on to first by Longoria is right there for the first out. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Here now the 2-2. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Lifted down the line in left. Yastrzemski coming on. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Stepping up now, Will Smith. 
looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid. Ouch, that one hit him. Yeah, it was a great battle there, and he was one strike away from putting him away. As a pitcher, you hate to put a guy on for free after all that work. Stepping into the box, Zach McKinstry. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. One run on three hits and two errors thus far on the Dodger line score. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as Adel played one for sure and maybe a second. And the second run is across as well, and they've cut this to one at four to three. Hey, with that base hit right there, that's his third run at the end of the game. Yeah, he's the reason, Dan, they're even in this one to begin with. He's kept his team together with a great approach, finding his third RBI of the day. to the plate now David Price Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate ready with the one two this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He set the 2 2, and he popped him up. Crawford into shallow center. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. We played four full. San Francisco leads this one four to three. Jimmy Nelson, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Number 40, Jimmy Nelson. Next to bat for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. He'll get it started against Jimmy Nelson as we get the inning underway. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger's under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batter. Opportunity now to take a look into some of the future plans for the Dodgers as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent minor league action. Into the box, Evan Longoria. Chased a sinker outside the strike zone, one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. One and two, here it comes. Inside and a hair low, it's two balls and two strikes. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be a base hit for Longoria. Well, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. So now to the plate, Brandon Crawford. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. The one-two. Misses, ball two. The two-two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. 
the catcher. Number so a runner at first with two away. And that brings up Buster Posey. Three two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for San Francisco. And it remains a 4 3 game. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Now the one and one pitch. Here's a bouncing ball header for Crawford at short. Fielded cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. No hits to this point. The one one is laid off for ball two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. the count to the Dodgers shortstop I love the approach out on the mound everything's down in the zone as it should be but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone or you just pitch around them hitters count all the way here it comes well this is hauled in by the second baseman but he's safe at first as he gets back in time now to the plate, Mookie Betts. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however, to Crawford for one. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. Five innings complete. Giants out in front here. Four to three. Digging in. Brandon Belt. His batter pitcher matchup numbers against Jimmy Nelson. He's four for 14. He also has one home run. Payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Once again, a 3 2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Back up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The pitcher, number and eight. now the Giants pitcher, the Logan eight. Webb. An Webb. error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Four three our score here as we play inning number six. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. McKinstry onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second the out. Second now back to the top Four. of the lineup. Stepping in, Wilmer Flores. So far, two for three in this one. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's in there. Base hit. 
Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, Dero. You make a really better, good pitch, better, and yet better. this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. In now, Steven Duggar. One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Giants leave one, but they hang on to a one run lead, four to three. Sam Kumra enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 65, Sam Kumra. Leading off the inning, Cody Bellinger. And they'll need him to get something going here. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. The one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. The next one-two pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely now lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Nah. Now that's his sixth strikeout One, of the series. They've really got him figured out. At the plate now, Max Muncy. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just... And it's belted high and deep into right center. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Solo shot to right center, number 22 on the year, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Pitcher making a move his feet right there. Probably upset him a little bit. He dug right back in, didn't lose his toe hold, and absolutely clobbered that thing. Standing in now, Jock Peterson. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The batter, the pitcher, Will Stepping in now, Will Smith. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And they're to take it in his pence, and that's out number two. Now batting, now Zach bat. McKinstry. He doubled three. earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. A runner on first with two away. Line toward right center. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. 
Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start at this one. Chris Taylor will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Popped up. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. But the Dodgers are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. And we are tied 4-4. Blake Trinan is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 49. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. One one home is strike two swinging. The one two hit the other way out toward right field. Bellinger's under it. One away. So now it'll be the four hole Mike. hitter, Mike Yastrzemski. He flew out in his last at bat. All knotted up, 4 4, the score here in the seventh. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Two two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. At the plate, Evan Longoria. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. Bases are empty here with two men out. Spreading carefully with Longoria here. It's three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. The three-two pitch. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. One one waves and misses for strike number two. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. The stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Oh. 
turned on down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the stretch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Flair out toward right center. Coming in is Peterson. He can't get to it. This one's down. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Now that the catcher, Buster Hayes. Into the box, Buster Posey. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And we are tied 4-4. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Danny Jimenez will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Aramis Garcia will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Full count now. High in the air down the right field line. And this will be handled by Pence for the first out. Here's Corey Seager. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. The 2-1. Time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mookie Betts becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Into the box now, Cody Bellinger. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. 
hard on the ground towards short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for L.A. Score remains tied at four. Ross Stripling has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 68. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to battle be the first baseman, Brandon Belt. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it. One away. Now that is in now, Aramis Garcia. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. The 1-1. One, one. There's a slider waved at and missed. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup, stepping forward, Wilmer Flores. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1-1. One, one. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2-2 two two now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Giants down in order. Still all square at four apiece. John de Gustave goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 34, Yandel Gustave. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Line, but speared on a hop, and there's one away. Here's Jock Peterson now. He's two for three and looking for more here. Peterson. The 2-2. Two -two. Still even at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Will Smith is on deck. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. At the plate Will Smith he comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Oh, 
on the ground to short. Could this be two? One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. This game's all tied at four. A.J. Pollock stays in the ball game in the nine hole and takes over out in center field. Number 11. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Kenley Jansen will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Barnes is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. All set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Duggar. Now the one and one pitch misses down below the knee. Soft liner towards short. Throw is not in time, and a great job of legging that out as now the go ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning, game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. In now, Hunter Pence. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Settling in now, Mike Yastrzemski is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. One-one is a cutter that misses two and one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Now the 2-1. Oh, that's that. There you see Evan Longoria waiting next. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now that the third baseman, Evan Longoria. In is the third baseman Evan Longoria. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Ready with the 1 1. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down 1 and 2. Here's the 1 and 2. Fouled off. From the stretch, the one-two. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. One left for San Francisco. Score remains tied at four. Coming to the plate now, Zach McKinstry. He singled his last time up. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Standing in now, Austin Barnes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So now to the plate, Justin Turner. Hot shot down the line. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out no base knock to put the five. winning run on base. Let's see if someone Four can catch eight. a gap and end this thing. Seager. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. The 1-1. One, one. And he misses 2-1. Got it. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. We are into extra innings and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Brandon Crawford. The one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three really impressive pitching right there sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when now you make back. a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire but what does he do he comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike Donovan Solano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here number seven Donovan Solano Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Swing and a shot to third. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the, the second out. Number nine, Brandon Belt. So digging in now, Brandon Belt. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. One and one. Here it is. Bold strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now. One and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Oh. 
So a full count now. Well, that pitch was like a backdoor cutter, if you will. It starts well off the plate and almost cuts back to the corner. That's a tough pitch to hit if you could throw it for a strike. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Giants are down one, two, three. Still all square at four apiece. Tyler Rogers comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Tyler Rogers. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. The 1 2. Drives it out to deep right center field. After it is Duggar. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Cody Bellinger. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A 1 1. A right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Max Muncy. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Two out, nobody on. Good action on the sinker, one and two. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Another one sent foul. One and two. Here it is. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. This game's all tied at four. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Pedro Baez takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Now pitching and batting in the fourth spot, number 52. Pedro Baez now playing right field and batting coming to the plate now Aramis Garcia first time up he went down looking yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got to bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play this is line to left and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning now batting the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. All even now, two and two. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Ready with another two strike offering. Line drive to center field. Pollock is right there, one down. The center fielder of the ship, Stephen Duggar. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Stephen Duggar. the 2 1 hit out towards second and that gets through for a one out base hit 
And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game. But that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. At the plate now, Hunter Pence. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. This year against right-handed pitching, Pence is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Hunter Pence goes down for out number two in the top half. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two down, runners at first and second. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Payoff pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two men are on with two men out. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with the payoff pitch, and he fouls this one off. Out of the stretch the three two home and that misses for ball four so the potential go ahead run moves over to third now just a nice piece of hitting right there especially in extra innings he didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero he just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk we'll see if his teammates can pick him up now so a big spot here in stepping in Evan Longoria as he'll hit with the go ahead run at third and two away And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. One and two. Here it is. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 4-4. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And that'll bring up the outfielder, A.J. Pollock. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Digging in, Kike Hernandez. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Flores has it. Ah, uh, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught, as that'll be an infield single. You know, D roll, that looked like a base hit all the way up the middle. A nice job there by the second baseman to get to it and make that jump throw to first base. Yeah, one of the tougher plays in our game. A lot of great second basemen in our sport make this look easy, but I'll tell you what, it's not. To throw the ball to first base while your entire body and momentum is headed towards left field is one of the most difficult things to do in our sport. 
And there to take it in his pence, and that's out number two. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The set and the 1 1. Soft grounder left side. On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. Dodgers leave one. Score remains tied at four. Joe Kelly gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. For the Dodgers. Number 17. Joe. On to the 12th frame in this one. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. The 1-2. One, 2-2. Two. Drilled to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Alex Dickerson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 12, Alex Dickerson. One out, nobody on. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping into the box, Brandon Belt. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Fastball called strike, one and two. Kelly is a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the park. It's a rare day that someone takes him deep, which obviously makes him a very valuable commodity in the bullpen. One of the things as a manager you want to do, you want to bring a reliever in and know that he can keep the ball in the ballpark, and this guy does a great job of that. He's near impossible to get the ball in the air to lift for a home run, and it's one of the reasons why he's a real effective relief pitcher. Two balls and two strikes now. Three. Three and two now. Aramis Garcia would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Payoff pitch on its way. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to Muncie gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Giants down in order. Still all square at four apiece. Maranta will be summoned here to start the home 12th and the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order digging in Justin Turner and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Hey it's never easy scoring runs against a closer but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Digging in once again. Corey Seager. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. The 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. A bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Here's 
Here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. And he needed extra innings to get it, but there's his first hit of the game, and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. And Giro, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over, and was able to get him one extra A-B. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. One ball and two strikes to count. Now the one and two pitch. <laughs> pitch is way outside and that's straight to the backstop. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Ready with another two strike offering in the air now out to left. Yastrzemski has to range back but he'll make the catch near the line and there are two men gone. Matt Beatty will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 45. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hence looks up. Gone! Santa Maria, game over. Two run blast to straight away right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, when you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk off home run to end this thing in extras. The lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our top's player of the game. Multi-hit game, and one of them was a dinger. That's a solid day's work for any hitter, and it had an impact on the outcome of this game. What else can you say? Six to four, the outcome today. Joe Kelly earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line for this afternoon for the victorious Dodgers. Six runs, 11 hits, two errors, they left 10 men on base. For the Giants, four runs, 12 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base.